In this video, we're going to talk about the ballad having a router lift. The benefit of using a router lift on a table is rather than having to reach under the table and fumbling around with the final adjustment on your router, you can do it from above the table. The way that it works is you get this wrench, and you slide it into the key hole slide on the top of the router lift, and you simply turn it in an anti clockwise direction. You can see here that this aluminium cradle is lowering at the moment, and then to raise it back up again, you just simply line up the handle. The way that you mount the router into the router lift is that you have this mounting plate here, which is held in by these four clamps. So what we need to do is we need to wind down this mounting plate to get access to the screws, take out this mounting plate and mount it to the base of the router. Take the supplied Allen key and you loosen off the four screws from the mount. Now you can see when you loosen off these screws that these clamps just simply slide out of place. And now you just take the mounting plate out of the cradle of the rabbit. This universal mounting plate has been designed for the Australian market, so it would suit most of the kind of routers available on the market today. In this situation, we're mounting this to the bottom of the, uh, the Triton router. You'll notice that there's a small lip here on the edge of the universal mounting plate. You have to make sure that that's facing down towards the router so that this is flush on the surface. What happens is, when you mount this onto the base, there's a small lip which is created between the base of the router and the mounting plate. And that's where the clamps clamp back into the mounting into the base, so you can put it back into the router. So the benefit of using the universal mounting plate on the base of your router to back into the router lift is that because these have been drilled specifically for the different base plates for the routers, when you put this back into the router lift, the uh, collar from the router will be perfectly central to the hole in the top of the router lift for your, uh, for your router bits. So to mount it back into the router lift now, you simply flip the, mount, the router lift over, lay it face down, move the clamps out of the way, back into the web lift. Once you've done that, you can push the clamps into place. So once you've mounted your router into the router lift, there's very little else that you need to do to get started. The only thing that you have to be mindful of is that the uh, main cradle runs on these four posts. So you just need to apply a little bit of lubricant to the posts before putting it into the table uh, to make sure that it doesn't seize. Now that you've mounted your router into the router lift, what you need to do is drop the router lift into your router table and then adjust the level of screws in the router table to get this level of the table top. Now, one of the benefits of the router lift is because it's such a heavy unit, I've actually put these holes in the top so you can get through to leveling screws and you can level them all off without having to lift the, the router lift out. Just a matter of getting a screw, a straight edge, and just adjusting these screws as required. The router lift has been designed for metric use. You can adjust the cursor to zero as necessary, then with each full revolution of the wrench, the lift will move by two millimeters. This makes a quarter of a turn 0.5 of a mil, an eighth of a turn is 0.25 of a mil, 
So every graduation you see is a very fine adjustment of 0.05 of a mil. When you've set the height, you can lock the cradle and you will now see a minimal amount of backlash in the system as I move the wrench in its adjustment slot. Both the router lift and aluminium mounting plate use twist lock insert rings. As you can see, the included wrench easily twists these in and out. Available separately are a set of four pre-drilled insert rings as well as a blind ring to make your own zero clearance inserts. The Balladonia router lift will transform your bit height adjustment and make benchtop routing easier and produce better results. Guaranteed.